Hey, it's Christy, and you're thinking about moving to Florida, and you're just not really sure where to start, where to look. I wanna give you four things to think about that, you know what, you might not have thought about when you need to move to Florida. Number one is we have hurricanes. Yes, hurricane season is from June 1st to November 30th each year. And that means that every May, you're gonna need to have your hurricane supplies ready, like batteries, bottled water, and canned goods. If you're gonna be purchasing a home in the state of Florida, or for Tampa Bay for that matter, check the local county's websites for evacuation zones. Pay close attention to zones A, because if we were ever to get a hurricane in that area, those would be the zones that would be evacuated first. They're basically in the low line areas. I've lived in Tampa for over 10 years, and it's just something that happens here in the area. Not something that I get overly concerned about. I do pay attention to it, but it's the price we pay for paradise. California has its earthquakes. We have our hurricanes. The second thing is traffic. Traffic in Tampa can be rough during um, the high peak hours, but before you buy your next home, I wanna urge you to get in the car and travel the route you would take to work during the rush hour times to make sure that you feel comfortable with what that commute looks like on a daily basis. Some areas of town that can be high traffic area is 275 going south in the mornings from about Bears Avenue until you get into Tampa. The I-4 exit off of 275 causes a ton of congestion. I-4 traffic, I'd have to say, is from sunrise to sunset. You never know what accidents or traffic you might get into going either east or westbound on I-4. The best advice if you're using I-4 is to just always leave yourself a little more extra time. If you live anywhere near State Route 52 and US 41 until the DOT finishes the expansion, plan for extra time. It can be a nightmare around 5 p.m. Just remember, if you commute across any of the bridges, like the Howard Franklin, Tampa to Clearwater or Clearwater to Tampa, remember one accident can cause a major delay. Just something to think about when you're moving to the Tampa Bay area. The third thing is insurance. Insurance in Florida can be so expensive, especially flood insurance. Did you know less than 4% of the homeowners had flood insurance when Ian came across the state? Things to remember when you're getting insurance here in Florida, know what your deductible is, like how much money you have to contribute in order for repairs to happen. Ask your insurance agent about um, these coverages. Also things to remember, identity fraud, pet liability, pools, pool cages, we call them bird cages, and mold, it's wet here. If you think about your valuables too, think about jewelry, getting insurance on that. Flood insurance, remember, is not part of your homeowner's insurance policy. Check with FEMA's website to see if the home you're falling in love with is in a flood zone. Ask your insurance agent for help on that as well. And fourth one is we have sinkholes in Florida. Sounds scary, but not every sinkhole is a huge hole in the ground. The home could just have settled wrong or is settling wrong. And a common thing that you can see is the doors don't shut properly anymore or cracks in the ceilings, on the walls, on the exterior of the home. Just as you're eyeing the home, looking at the home, just keep an eye on these things. Each county in Florida has websites where you can search homes. And the cool part about it is you can check sinkholes in the area, but you can also check your neighbors too. Um, just something to remember is that you want to have a home that's remediated, meaning repairs. It's got a warranty that goes along with it that allows you to get insurance as well as financing um, for the home. I've lived in Tampa for over 10 years, as I said, and I love it. 
This is just a list of a few things that you might not know about living in Florida. The price you pay for paradise.